welcome to a travel vlog of my recent trip to Italy. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Starting off with a gorgeous mountainous view for the flight, we arrived in our first stop, which was Milan. The weather was pretty nice and sunny for pretty much the whole trip. We straight away went off to the central area where you can see the big Duomo in Milan. Then we went to this amazing place for pizza called Pete's. His? I don't know. Then we went off to see The Last Supper for Easter Thursday and it was surprisingly not too busy because they only let like 20 people in at once and we did see some other churches where there was some Caravaggio paintings. For the evening we went to this really nice like outdoor thermal baths which also has like indoor sort of saunas and everything and then we just went for dinner somewhere nearby and I got Osso Buco with Milanese risotto. Next morning we were off on the train to Rome and I actually got some work done on a paper that I've been working on during the train ride which was very handy. I think I got a okay rough first draft of the paper done. Of course the first thing we thought about was food so we headed for some carbonara and a pizza to split which was a diavolo pizza, diavolo, not quite sure how we say it somewhere near the sort of Trevi Fountain area and we went for a walk after that to the Trevi Fountain. We got some gelato. We also headed to some other nearby areas such as the Pantheon and a few other places around the general area. As you can see it was pretty busy this weekend. Being Easter weekend and Rome being such a sort of Catholic city. It was a pretty busy weekend. The afternoon we spent on this crypts and catacombs tour which we weren't allowed to take photos in and I'll include some pictures that I got from the websites but since it's sort of seeing like bones and stuff like that I decided not to put much in. Then we just went for some dinner near our restaurant with this really nice place called Alessio and that was the end of day two. Day three and every other day after that we got some breakfast at the hotel we were staying at and then we headed off to our first tour of the day which was the Colosseum. We got a sort of okay tour while we were there. I'd say it wasn't the best and that's one thing I will say is you sort of get what you pay for with these tours. We'd both been to Rome before so having a sort of average tour of the Colosseum was okay and we basically just sort of walked around by ourselves and the tour also included time for the Roman Forum but we decided that we just didn't really want to do it because we had seen it before and there was sort of longer lines than normal and we just felt we wanted to relax a bit before our next tour of the day. So we grabbed some lunch in the nearby area about halfway between the Colosseum and the Vatican and then we began our walk over to the Vatican. Overall it was a really hot day this day so it was definitely not the best day to have to wrap up which you do have to do if you're visiting any of the religious areas. So the Vatican museums have a lot, of, a lot of wonderful buildings and a lot of statues and one thing that I learned which I didn't think about before was that all of these statues would have originally been painted different colours. Our tour guide for this tour was really good, very knowledgeable. This day in particular was Easter Saturday so the St. Peter's Basilica that would usually be open was closed for the Pope's blessing the following day and then you'll also see the painted ceilings and different courtyards. One thing that you will see which I don't have included since you're not able to take pictures of it is the Michelangelo's painting of the Sistine Chapel ceiling. It is definitely an amazing thing to see. I think all of these even if you're not religious are really interesting to see. Myself and my partner aren't religious. After all of that walking we were pretty tired so we just got a taxi back to our hotel and then we went out again somewhere local. We were staying in an area near the train station which the hotel was quite nice. It was definitely a little bit sketchy at night time around the train station but there was some really good restaurants in the area. The next day then we were up early again on a tour. So this was our first of two longer day trips. So this was on Easter Sunday we were heading to Pompeii and Positano which is in the Amalfi Coast. Both times we had a little rest stop in this area where you could buy lots of sort of local products which was nice. Pompeii is the area which I'm sure most people know it's been excavated following a big eruption of Mount Vesuvius um, you know hundreds of years ago and it's a really really interesting thing to see. We had a local guide there who was really knowledgeable and told us a lot about Pompeii and what was really interesting was learning about the ancient civilization and sort of the early inventions they would have had. So they would have had 
their own waste management systems and fast food and they had courtyards where they had a hole in the ceiling to let water pass through like sort of a water recycling almost system and a number of other things like that which I just thought was quite interesting to learn about um, you'll also see some quite famous I suppose landmarks girl who has been sort of frozen in time in the sort of last moments before she would have been um, completely covered over by layers of ash so that was done basically the excavation process they poured plaster into the area where her body would have been and obviously had decomposed and that left the sort of outline of her body so that people could see what the last moments of these people's lives were like. Had some really nice views on the bus ride there. Unfortunately this was our more cloudy day and we didn't get the best views of Positano but it was still really nice to be there. So we just stopped somewhere local for some coffee and gelato and just sort of took in our surroundings. And then we headed to some of the local shops in the area to pick up, you know, some souvenirs, some local products and olive oil and everything like that. And we only got to spend maybe about an hour and 15 minutes in Positano. Because it is a couple of hours away from Rome, you know, you can't spend that long and still get back in time. This whole tour was about 13 hours and there definitely was a long time spent on the bus. But overall, I felt like it was worth it to get to see Positano in a way that was convenient enough rather than driving around which I think could have been quite stressful. Day 5, another day trip and this time we were off to Tuscany. So the first couple of hours of the tour was spent listening to our tour guide tell us all about Rome which was a really nice way to finish up and then we went on a tour of a town called Montepulciano which would be famous for different products but especially wine and we had a local guide show us around the village. The village was absolutely beautiful and it was definitely a nice sunny day so it was a great day to be exploring this sort of area. This full day trip again was about 12 hours and we had a couple of stops, the first one being the town of Montepulciano which involved about an hour and a half of a tour and then some own time going around. While we were there we had some really good views of the sort of landscape of Tuscany which would be those sort of long rolling green hills which definitely remind me of home but then there is such a difference between how it looks in Italy versus how it looks in Ireland even though the landscape is somewhat similar in terms of the green hills. The next stop then was to go for some food and a little tour of a winery in Montepulciano and we got to try out some of the different wines that they had and see where all of the wine is stored. And that would be quite a famous wine, Montepulciano. It's one that I would have known from working in restaurants before. And overall, it was a very nice experience. The next stop then was to visit a church that we would have seen sort of on the landscape. And I thought by this point, especially not being super religious, I would have been totally sick of seeing churches. But the outside of this one and the sort of setting around it was just so beautiful, a really, really great one to see and I'm glad that this stop was included in the tour. The last little stop was another little village, I think it was called Pienza and this one we had just some gelato and some coffee and we just got to walk around and enjoy our last views of Tuscany. Overall, this was a really nice way to end the holiday and I'm really glad that we did this trip. I think it was a really nice one and I just found it was such a beautiful day out. The last thing we did was just have some dinner local and take in the last of the proper Italian food before heading home. Thanks so much for watching this video, I hope that you enjoyed it. I know it was a bit different to my usual content but this is what's been going on in my life. So thanks so much for watching, thanks to all of my wonderful members and I'll see you all in the next video.